Oh, it's you. I got his letter. Uh, hello, hello. John Marston. Education is the most wonderful thing. It'll raise us higher and higher. Make civics and ethics less a work of uh, dirty-minded pragmatists like me. And the calling of higher, better men. Hear, hear. Without it, we are savages. But with learning, why, in 50 years, man will put down his guns and start living a life of relentless purity. Hear, hear. <laughs> but the rich can be so very self-absorbed. <laughs> How can I help? You can't. We need all our strengths. That's the point. We've gone over this. Violence is never right. I agree with you. But it's not violence. It's the mere threat of violence. Against whom? Oh. <laughs> Against Hector Fellow's worst nature. To convince him to make good on his promise to help finance the library. Who is he and where do I find him? He's a newspaper man. Oh. And he's... He's so leaving town on a coach, heading to his country estate, because he doesn't like your heavy-handed approach. And he's going to really hate my heavy-handed approach. Thank you, Mr. Marston. You'll spot him on the road through the bayou. He has a red coach. So we are clear. I do not approve of this behavior. You're a good filly. your hands up. Who the heck are you? Hold it right there. You're getting an extra passenger. Okay, drive. What the hell do you want? Mr. Fellows, ain't it? Charity, sir. An appeal to your better nature. This is most impudent. Oh, no. <laughs> this is not most impudent. Trust me, buddy. I can be a whole lot more impudent than this. But this is for a great cause. And for a wealthy man such as yourself, a chance to add some dignity to all that wealth. Dignity? To help finance a library in town. Just think of the prestige. Oh, get out of my carriage. But the mayor... The mayor? The mayor is a crook. <laughs> Me too. And I'm a real crook. I will not be bullied by you, sir. Get out of here. Sorry? Was that... Yes! 
I would like to finance the library for the common good. Ah! I can't hear you. Ah! What was that? See, that wasn't difficult. You know, they say, it's better to give than to receive. And certainly, in the case of a beaten, I know that to be true. The mayor awaits your checks, sir. Been a pleasure. There's a good man in there. You should let him live a little more. Driver! Hold up! As you were. Move on! Oh. Please, do something. I'll get you help. Uh, Just stay alive. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh. That was just beyond belief. We're nearly there. Just hold on a little longer, all right? Must stay awake. Where? Where am I? Don't you give up now. I'm dying. This is it. Lord have mercy! Help me! Someone! I swear. My arm. I can't feel it anymore. All right, friend, all right. We're at the doctor. Oh, good God. Quickly, bring him in here. Right here. I'll sit him down in this chair. Just saw you fall out of the saddle. Don't worry, you're at the doctor. Thanks, friend. I appreciate it. Sure. There's also the matter of my payment. But we'll deal with that later. All right, all right. A lot of blood loss. This wound's badly infected. I'll save as much as I can, but I'll have to amputate it. What? What did you say? Just try to breathe. Uh, Give you something for the pain. No, no. There you are. Then I'll knock him out for a while. You did a good thing bringing him here. But now, I'd recommend moving along. <clears throat> you do not want to see this. Sorry it's come to this. Oh, Jesus. It's you. Come in. Where's... what's his name? Jean-Marc, he's a little histrionic. I'm worried that he's going to open his mouth and say things that aren't true to those vulgar Puritans at the newspaper. Well, perhaps true, but not the whole truth. Uh. <laughs> Look at these beautiful books. This is magnificent. We'll bring this city back to life if it kills me, and it probably shall. Yeah? Ah, I have two copies of this book. 
This is an old field guide. Might be of some interest to you, maybe not. But please have it. It's worth quite a bit. Thank you. My pleasure. Listen, Mr. Marston. I'm sorry to ask this of you. You've done so much, but... Go on. Jean-Marc. I'm afraid he's going to open his mouth and say things. How do you mean? Uh, saying nasty things about the work that we have done together, for example. Uh, is that my business? Oh, no. No. <laughs> of course not. He also found out some unsettling news about you. It's all scurrilous lies, of course. But... What sort of news? Oh. I do not talk about idle gossip. Please, I'm a public servant, and we are friends. Where do I find him? Well, he does live over on uh, Rue de Zachary. Thank you, Mr. Marston. Say those awful things about me, buddy. <laughs> Best not make a drama of things. Come on, let's see your boss. This is gonna hurt, but it's for the best. I knew you were a dog, but you are my dog, remember. Oh, Jean-Marc, Jean-Marc, uh, I've missed you, I've missed you. What silly, silly man we have been. Yeah, he had a fall. He might be a little woozy. Oh, the poor boy. Jean-Marc, can you hear me? Uh, where am I? Le mieux. What have you done? Oh, you had an accident, Jean-Marc. Thank the Lord, our friend was there to find you. Really? I don't remember so well. Oh, Jean-Marc. Here. My brother, my brother, Jean-Marc. Well, we've been so... I promised to change. I know. 
Ah, oh, what a silly, silly misunderstanding. You see, the problem is principles will destroy us all. Sure. As long as you two are friends again. Yes. And you say you've changed, so we will run the city like men of honor, like you said. Uh, of course, of course. We, we will strive to improve the city's moral backbone by any means available to us. Within reason, yes. Yes, yes. Within my reason. Because I am the mayor, Jean-Marc. And I will save you from yourself. Because it's better to get something done than nothing at all, like you said. Utterly, utterly corrupted, Lemieux. You've not changed at all. I've been supplanted in your esteem by a wanted murderer. You, you shame me. <laughs> no, sir. You shame me with your vain naivete. Oh, how I long for the luxury to have principles such as you. But I must actually do things. I see now. You're, you're lost to reason. Yeah. And I see now that you're a horrible little wretch and a sinner yourself. Your sin is deluded vanity. Now, sir, I am afraid that you must kill him. I will pay you handsomely. And Jean-Marc, I will miss you. I really shall. Kill him. It must be so. Please. You're not really going to kill me, are you? Thought I might. But uh, all I did was love too much. Look, My duty. Did you run in your mouth? I'll leave you out of it. Friends and him. He'll and... betray you just like he's betrayed me. Lemieux is a foul rat, but I'm a man of my word. Let me live, and I'll, I'll, I'll destroy him, and I'll make sure you're left well alone. Come on, please. <laughs> Do I know you? Yeah, you remember me. You come with me. Doing, we man? need to have a serious talk. I thought we had a deal. I give you the stash, you give me the cut. Now where's my goddamn money? Come on. Pay me what yeah, you owe me. Yeah, I ain't me. got nothing for you. You could have done this the easy way, but no! No, I you can't punch, my sweet. It's sad, really. Oh, my, our friend. Hello? I bet you can punch. Do me and the lady a favor here, would you? And thrash this impudent wretch. Thrash? No man alive can thrash me. What was your name, sir? John. John could, easily. You, maybe, but not me. I know. Punch us both, as hard as you can. You'll break his glass jaw, and I'll be left standing. The knight and the knave. Good idea. Hit me, then. Dear boy, give the feeble fellow a little tap and watch him crumble. Uh... Come on. <laughs> you really walloped him. Oh. 
Of you. There, there, up you get. We need to get some steak on those wounds. Madam, gentlemen, good luck to you. That area ain't for you. And there's nothing for you back there, sir. And this shop ain't the place for your time. What do you want? This is private. Get lost. Relax, friend. Whoa! What the hell's the gun for? Stay calm and give me all your money. Open that thing. Uh, yeah, sure. Sure. Uh, let me get my cash out. You rob a doctor, that's a reputation you don't shift. back room of yours right now sir please you don't want to get involved with them i promise you you make them open up or you're a dead man hey uh, open up it's me i uh, brought some food and whiskey for you fellers yeah it's only the duck don't try anything funny I thought you were that cold pork who bothered us earlier. Put it on the table. Looks like a nice little business.
Hamish! John! Come on in. So, how you keeping out here? Ah, keeping fine, thank you. It's all right then, is it? Living out here, away from civilization? <laughs> civilization? Yeah, I saw what civilization and industrial advancement will get you in the war. Progress, well, it ain't always progress. Besides, I ain't lonely up here. I got company. Yeah, I guess. Come look at these. Remember catching that? <laughs> I do. I know you ain't forgot about him. Oh, I still see him in my dreams. Yeah, I got the whole of nature up here. And I'm gonna make the most of it, as long as there still is some. Whoa. They weren't lying. What's this? Right there by the outhouse. Look at the size of that boar. Holy hell. I saw some cattle gourd the other day, but I didn't think it was possible. Let's go take care of it. Okay. Damn, I thought I got him. Pursue. I'll grab the mounts. Whoa, pig. God damn. This way. Come on. You see that thing? It's as big as a buffalo. And fast, too. Yeah, but we'll get him. He came through here, all right. Big shit. He's been across here twice. What do we do? Well, he's been up this hill to the right and down this one in front of us. But I can't tell which tracks is fresher. Let's split up. You go up, and I'll go onwards. Okay. Good luck to you, sir. Yeah. Come on, you. Hey, hey, easy. Jesus, no! Ah! God! Oh. Yeah, Hamish! <laughs> I got thrown and a bastard hog got me. Take a bill for me, would you? 
And he's a good horse. He may be stubborn, <clears throat> but he's strong. <laughs> Hamish? Got him, old man.